Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since I've posted a video, but I'm glad to be back. Today I'll be sharing how I made 30 cards using the Cartabella Gather at Home Club EP kit. This was the February subscription kit from Echo Park, and I used the PDF downloads for both Kendra's Card Challenge 5 and number six to create the cards, which I'll show you here in just a moment. But I'll just quickly show you the contents of the kit. Now, if you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, it's where you use the cutting templates and the card sketches that I provide in the free PDF file that's available for download on my website. And you'll use that to create a bunch of cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper plus other card stock and decorations. Now, if you're familiar with One Sheet Wonders, it's kind of like that, but times six. Now, the Club EP kits come with both a six inch by six inch paper pad, plus some ephemera, adhesive brads, chipboard accents, stamps, plus a 12 by 12 collection kit that includes the same printed papers in a larger size, the same that's in the smaller paper pad, plus a sheet of coordinating stickers. A lot of the sheets have these cut aparts, which I used on many of these cards that I'm going to be sharing with you today. And I started making these cards back in March. And since I had so many supplies left over, I decided to keep using the contents with challenge six, which is the current challenge that runs from April 1st to June 30th of 2022. And if you participate in the challenge, you'll have a chance to win one of many prizes, which I'll share more about later. But to enter the challenge, all you need to do is post a picture of your card creations in my Facebook group that's called Kendra's Card Challenges in the KCC6 official entry photo album. I will have this linked in the description box below. Now first, I will start with challenge five. These are the cutting templates here that I used for the first six pieces of pattern paper that I selected from the six by six paper pad. They are color coded and they're circled numbers in each piece that will correspond with each of the 15 card sketches. There are scissors indicating which cut you'll want to make first. And there's also arrows on each piece that shows the direction of how the piece will lay on the card sketch. Each of these card sketches correspond to the cut pieces from the cutting templates. Now I will link a video that explains challenge five in a little more detail, mainly how to cut the papers, match up the card stock, and get everything prepared to make the cards. And I'll put this in the description box below. So I want to show you the patterns that I selected from that six by six paper pad that I am using for this first set of 15 cards using Kendra's Card Challenge 5. For paper A, I'm using this mint green checkered pattern and it's got the coffee mugs on the back. And then for paper B, I'm using this floral pattern here with the black background and it has that dark green background on the back. Now, if you look at the card sketches, papers A and B go together on a few of these sketches. So you want to make sure that they match. And then for paper C, I chose this peach pattern. And then the back side has these white flowers with a mint green background on the back. And then for paper D, I chose this floral pattern on the front and then this green with tiny white dots on the back side. And then for paper E, I used this pattern with the leaves and a dark grayish diagonal line pattern on the back. And then for paper F, I used this green floral pattern that has these frames on the back. So you'll want to look at the card sketches that have multiple colors to see if the papers that were assigned match each other. Like this one here for sketch 13, the green leaves and the flowers go together well. And then for sketch 14, papers B and F will need to match. So that's why I love using double-sided paper so there's more choices. For this challenge, it's best to use patterns that are non-directional, which means it doesn't matter which way you turn them on your card. But once you have your papers assigned, you'll want to cut them using the cutting templates and sort them out. But like I mentioned earlier, I will link the challenge five video in the description box below so you can see the detailed instructions. So after cutting my papers, I placed the cut pieces in cellophane bags to keep them organized. And I made a lot of these cards while traveling using only the contents of the kits, plus some heavyweight cardstock that I used for card bases. Rather than using colored cardstock, I used the 12 by 12 papers in the kit to use for matting the pieces for the card sketches that called for layers. Now I've done all of that off camera. 
So now I'll show you the finished cards and explain what I did with some of the features on each of the card sketches. I will have an image of each of the card sketches in the top right hand corner so you can compare it with the finished card. So I've already shown card number one. This is card sketch two and I used some Love from Lizzie peel off stickers to go across the top and the bottom and I cut the sentiment from one of the cut aparts using an oval die. And then this is card sketch number three. I used a dark green 12 by 12 paper for the layer on this card and a piece of ephemera that says let's make the best memories together instead of that circle piece. And then this is card sketch four. This one I changed up a bit due to using this longer piece of ephemera that says simple life. I still used a couple of the banner pieces on the right and I added an adhesive brad in the top left corner. And then this is card number five. It's pretty basic. I added a couple of layers with that peach and coral paper and a rectangle cut apart in the center for the sentiment. Now I popped this up with some foam squares to give it some dimension and to help level it on top of all of those layers on the bottom. And then this is card number six. I used the large peach checkered 12 by 12 paper for the layer and then the two mint green floral strips and then one of the chipboard accent circles for the sentiment that says let's gather together and I used the outer strip of the circle stickers to accent on the left but I kept this one pretty simple and then this next one is card sketch number seven I used some more of those love from Lizzie peel off stickers for the green dots to go on the top part of the card and the shiny silver strip at the top of that layered bottom piece to match the silver in that adhesive brad that I used at the top of the tag. This is that tag shaped ephemera piece that I used for the sentiment that says life is better with you. And then this is card number eight. It's pretty simple. I used the darker coral piece as the layer and I added some more love from Lizzie peel off stickers along the seam on the left. And then I put the chipboard cut out of the flower on top of one of the rectangle cut aparts that I used for the sentiment. And then this is card number nine. This one I used a square piece of that dark gray 12 by 12 paper and then added the ephemera on top of that that says thankful, grateful, blessed. And that kind of looks like a chalkboard. And then I added some more of those silver peel off stickers around the square to give it some shine. And then this is number 10. I turned the sketch to be landscape and I used one of the cut aparts and I fussy cut around the wreath and I just added it onto that leaf printed panel and added a matching adhesive brad. This is number 11. I used this ephemera here for the sentiment that says thank you so much that I popped up with some foam tape and then I added some of the floral circle stickers beside it and a strip of that peach colored paper across the bottom that matches. And then this is number 12. I used two pieces of pattern paper and I offset them slightly. The back black and white checkered piece comes from one of the 12 by 12 sheets and I added the two chipboard stickers on top and the little black pearl adhesive brad. And then this is number 13. I used another cut apart for the sentiment that I cut out with a scalloped stitched border die and I added three adhesive brads in the top left corner to keep it matching the card sketch. And then this is number 14. I used a mint green card base because it matches the mint green in both of the papers. And then for the layers, I used two different prints of the 12 by 12 paper, the dark green and the peach. Now for the sentiment in the middle, I used a sticker and added a silver strip sticker across the bottom piece there. And then for card 15, I did not follow the sketch at all. The sketch is made to look like a stacked cake or presents and it just did not go with this paper pad in my opinion. But I couldn't figure out a way to make the little scrap pieces look right so I just used a leftover piece of dark coral paper for the layer directly on some mint green cardstock and I added some stickers, ephemera, and a big pearl brad. Now I'll share with you the next set of 15 cards. Here is the paper that was left in the 6x6 paper pad after making the first set of 15 cards using just six sheets for Kendra's Card Challenge 5. These first few here are cut aparts that I will be using for some of these next few cards. And for this next set, I use the templates for challenge number six in the same manner that I did with the first set of cards. So now I'll show you which patterns I assigned to the six different cutting templates A through F just like I did before. I'm using this peach checkered paper with the mint flower pattern on the back for A. 
and then this floral pattern with the black background again for paper B and then this floral pattern with the mint green and white dots for paper C and then for paper D I use this pattern with the clocks that has the black and white checkered pattern on the back a different one from the first set and then for paper E I use the mint green and white checkered pattern with the coffee mug pattern on the back and then for the last sheet of paper paper F I use this dark gray pattern with the leaf pattern on the back again off camera I cut all of the papers and sorted the pieces in cellophane bags and I used more of the 12 by 12 paper in the kit for my layers so since I made so many cards, I figured I would share the finished results rather than the process, which is what I normally do. But here are the next set of 15 cards that I made using this kit in Kendra's card challenge number six. Again, I will have the card sketch in the top right hand corner. So this first one here is card sketch number one. I used some of the stickers for the two black and white checkered strips down the front. And I used the dark gray 12 by 12 paper for the bottom layer and one of the cut aparts for the sentiment that I popped up with some foam tape. And rather than using the three dots like the sketch showed, I used one adhesive brad in the top right hand corner instead since they were a little larger. And then this is card sketch number two. I used a cut apart and kept it pretty simple. And then this is number three. I used another cut apart that I trimmed down and I popped up with some foam tape and I added an adhesive brad in the same pattern that's on the couch. Then this is number four. And I decided not to put a sentiment on the front of this one and save it for an occasion where I can just stamp it on the inside when I need it. But I used one of the chipboard accents in the place of the circle. And then this is number five. I put some enamel dots in the top right hand corner and added the coffee cup chipboard accent on the banner and I'll probably add a sentiment strip later or stamp the inside and then this is number six I used one of the words from the cut aparts that just happened to fit across here perfectly and I added a sequin for some shine and some love from Lizzie peel off stickers to outline the strip and I used the peach 12 by 12 paper for the bottom layer So this is number seven. I used these three brads on the strip and a chipboard accent for the place of the circle piece. And again, I'll add a sentiment to the inside later. And then this is number eight. It has all of the different strips from the pattern papers and I added some of the 12 by 12 dark green paper for the smallest strips. And then I turned this into a portrait card so that I could use this rectangle cut apart for the sentiment. And then this is number nine. It's pretty straightforward. I used black cardstock for my layer and also for the strip. And then I used the welcome sticker and the chair is a chipboard accent piece. And then this is number 10. I used the clock pattern paper and I added a clock sticker in place of the circle. And I also added a black and white banner sticker to the top right hand corner. And I used a few other stickers for the sentiment and the leaves and then this is number 11 it's super straightforward i used the chipboard sticker in the center of the top piece and i outlined everything with some really thin black love from lizzie peel off stickers and even though the card sketch says to use textured paper in the background i just opted to keep it plain white now this is number 12 i used the coffee cups paper that I outlined with some love from Lizzie stickers on top of some dotted mint green 12 by 12 paper that I used for the background and I added the coffee cup and sentiment both of those were stickers now this is number 13 now I changed this up quite a bit because I really wanted to use this cutter part here I outlined it with some peach love from Lizzie stickers and I used some of the extra paper in the paper pad to use for the background and I decided not to use the banners but I did add the adhesive brad that says home sweet home. I think this card would be perfect for someone who just moved into a new house and then this is number 14. I turned it to be portrait and I used a piece of ephemera that I layered with a rectangle piece of peach cardstock that I popped up with some foam squares and I used the extra 12 by 12 paper for the strips along with some extra white cardstock and I added an adhesive brad that matches the pattern in the paper and then lastly number 15 
I added some Love From Lizzie peel off stickers here along the edge and I used one of the floral stickers on top with a pearl adhesive brad just beneath it. And this is another one that I'll add the sentiment to on the inside later. These are the first 15 cards I made, again, using challenge number five. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I made these cards while traveling. There was no stamping involved. I strictly just used what came in the kit, plus 14 sheets of 110 pound heavyweight cardstock and one sheet of mint green heavyweight cardstock for the card bases. And then I also used a sheet of black 80 pound cardstock and then I also used some Love From Lizzie peel-off stickers for embellishments. Now, even though this company is based in the UK, right now through June 5th of 2022, they are offering free shipping worldwide if you order 40 sheets or more of the peel-off stickers. And I'll have more details about the sale below. So using collection kits or subscription kits with my card challenges is a great way to make lots of cards with minimal supplies. I will have a list of all of the products I use to make the cards in the description box along with some links in case you're interested. Some of these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I get a small percentage of the sale at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my channel. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, also, you can win prizes for entering the challenge. So for challenge six, there are six amazing prizes from our company sponsors. The challenge is open to card makers worldwide, and you have until June 30th of 2022 to create your cards and post them in my Facebook group. Plus, if you have a YouTube channel and you post a video of your creations, you'll get an extra entry into the contest. So the sponsors for this challenge are Cat Scrappiness, Not Too Shabby Shop, Pink and Main, This Calls for Confetti, TLC Designs, and Whimsy Stamps. Plus there are several additional prizes that you can win throughout the quarter. You can see the full list of prizes on my website. And you don't have to use any particular company's products to enter this challenge. You can use what you have in your stash. Now, if you want to join in on this challenge, you can download the free PDF on my website at cardsbykendra.com. And I'll also link it in the description box down below. Now, I also wanted to mention my membership program that I'm offering to my channel viewers, where you can receive additional perks depending on the tier that you choose, starting at just $5 a month. All patrons receive a handmade card made by me each month, access to a printer-friendly version of the current challenge PDF file, plus a shout out on all of my challenge videos. All access patrons receive everything already mentioned, plus early access to my card challenges and bonus free printables each month. A new challenge will begin on July 1st, but you can get it early as an all access patron, and this tier is just $10 a month. Then the VIP patron membership level includes everything that I just mentioned, plus a card making kit each quarter and a color printout of the current quarterly card challenge. And it also includes a quarterly live stream session with me for VIP members only. I want to thank my current channel member patrons. I really appreciate your generosity and support. And for more information on how to become a member, please visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. I also have this linked below in the description box. I really hope that this video has inspired you to get creative. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.